科技临界点，向世界介绍中国科技。Hi, I'm Lisa, and this is Threshold in China. Today, we are going to share some exciting tech innovations and announcements that happened in China recently. The next generation of mobile communication is on its way, and is called 5.5G. While 5G networks are still being implemented worldwide, telecom companies and tech giants are already looking ahead to 6G. However, before we get to 6G, there is an important transition phase known as the 5.5G or 5G Advanced. Recently, Huawei officially released the world's first comprehensive 5.5G intelligent core network solution. This solution is currently undergoing joint testing with multiple carriers in regions such as the Middle East, Asia Pacific, Europe, and of course in China. The aim is to pave the way for large-scale global commercialization of 5.5G as early as this year. But what exactly is 5.5G, and why is it necessary? As the name suggests, 5.5G is an intermediate step between 5G and 6G. While the addition of the 0.5G may not seem significant, but it offers improvements in areas like connection speeds, latency—that is, the time it takes for data to travel, position and accuracy, and reliability. In fact, it is expected to deliver performance boost of approximately 10 times compared to the initial 5G networks. One of the biggest advantage of 5.5G is faster data speeds. While 5G's download rate starts around 1 gigs, 5.5G can reach up to 10 gigs. This is important for demanding applications like extended reality and naked eye 3D. Upload speeds will also increase from hundreds of mips to over one gigs, enabling capabilities such as mass cloud data transfer and widespread holographic communication. But of course, there are more to offer than just faster speeds. It improves connectivity in all situations, supporting trillions of connected devices. These devices can range from fast industrial machines to small IoT sensors. With 5.5G data travel time latency, will be reduced to just a few milliseconds. The accuracy of location identification can also improve from meters with 5G to centimeters with 5.5G. In simple terms, 5.5G makes connections more reliable, faster, and precise for all types of devices, not just phones and computers. These technical capabilities will drive transformations in various industries. For example, in manufacturing, the superfast speeds and low latency of 5.5G will allow for better remote monitoring of machines, real-time data analysis, and optimized supply chain logistics. Cutting-edge sectors like artificial intelligence, AR, VR, and brain-computer interfaces will finally have the powerful networking they need to reach their full potential. China has established the world's first 5.5G demonstration zone in Beijing to showcase its advantages, such as fully automated smart logistics using a fleet of self-driving delivery vehicles. With 5.5G's huge bandwidth, sensor data from these vehicles can be continuously uploaded to frequently retained AI driving systems, making them safer every day. China's major telecommunication companies have started regional trials for 5.5G. For example, China Mobile aims to cover more than 300 cities with 5.5G this year. While 5.5G is coming soon, the development of 6G is still underway, with a planned rollout around 2030. On another note, the United States and nine other nations have endorsed a set of principles to advance 6G technology due to the intensifying competition with China in developing the next generation wireless connections. In a joint statement, these nations outline principles for 6G systems, including the use of trusted technology protective of national security. Analysts view this as an attempt to limit China's 6G development. However, given China's large market and the independent strategies of tech giants like Huawei, it is uncertain as to how effective they are in slowing China's development.
Imagine being able to charge your electric vehicles in just 10 minutes, even in freezing temperatures as low as minus 80 degrees Celsius. Scientists from Zhejiang University in China have made a significant breakthrough in battery technology. They have developed a new electrolyte, a key component of lithium-ion batteries, that allows them to operate and charge efficiently at extremely low temperatures. For years, lithium-ion batteries have struggled to perform well in cold conditions, limiting their use in electric vehicles, aviation, and polar exploration. But with this new electrolyte made up of tiny solvent molecules, that could be changed. This work is so groundbreaking because high energy density, wide temperature operating range, and fast charging have been impossible to achieve simultaneously in previous battery designs because these properties seem to contradict one another. Increasing energy density often meant using electrolyte materials that were less stable in extreme temperatures. Electrolytes that enable fast charging could sacrifice energy density or temperature resilience. And designing for a wide temperature range often compromises energy density or charging rate. It has been a challenge to optimize all three factors simultaneously with conventional battery designs. However, the new electrolyte made from tiny fluoroacetonitrile solvent molecules overcomes these challenges. It has a unique ligand channel transport mechanism that allows for ultra-efficient lithium-ion movement. This mechanism enables the new electrolyte to achieve high energy density, a wide temperature operating range, and fast charging. It allows for ultra-fast ion transport even at freezing temperatures. In fact, compared to conventional electrolytes, the new electrolyte has an incredibly high ionic conductivity, 10,000 times higher at minus 70 degrees Celsius. The researchers also found that this electrolyte design principle is also effective for sodium ion and potassium ion batteries, expanding the possibilities for energy storage solutions. While this work is currently a proof of concept, there are still challenges to address before this technology can be commercialized. One potential challenge is lowering the cost of the solvent used in the electrolyte. However, the lead scientist, Professor Fan Xiuling, is optimistic and believes that this electrolyte can reach commercial use in the future. And that is all for today's Threshold. We hope you like this new section on science and technology in China. As usual, we welcome your feedback and thoughts.